Hi, it's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and we're down here at Lingfield Park with Neil Mackenzie Ross, the clerk of the course. Morning Neil, how are you? Yeah, good thanks Richard. Good, good. Now it's the middle of the flat season at the moment so we thought we'd do a bit of a follow-up video today on flat racing here at Lingfield over the summer. Uh, we talked about jumps racing and in depth about the all-weather um, racing here at Lingfield over the winter so I thought it'd be a good time of year just to touch on a bit about the, uh, the turf flat here and the all-weather. Um, so we've got two courses, we've got the round course here and then you've got the spur behind us which goes up for how far is it seven yeah, furlongs? Seven furlongs 140 yards is, is the, the longest distance on there. So is that a separate race to the seven furlong race? You have two distances or do you run all the seven furlongs? Yeah, no, that? there's a seven furlong start as well, yeah. Seven furlong start and then you have the six furlong and five furlong yeah. straight, okay. And as we can see it's quite a downhill, how high is it up there? Is there quite a gradient down there? Yeah, I, I think um, you know, it's quite misleading actually. I mean, I think Richard Hughes has described it as one of the f quickest five furlong uh, courses or s straight courses in the country. Obviously, mm -hmm. Epsom, as we know, is the quickest. But you know, but it actually rises, albeit you can't really tell, but it actually rises towards the finishing line. It's a very, very, very uh, delicate rise, if you like. But uh, coming down from yeah, the dip, just yeah, coming, yeah, just but, gentle. Uh, if yeah. you look at the maps and the contours on the maps, it shows that it, it actually comes back up again. Comes back up, yeah. yeah. So. Um, the sprint, the five furlong, what's an average time over that one? Yeah. Um, I think it's about 59, uh, yeah, 59 I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. So it is a quick time, isn't it? Yeah. And we can see behind us they're watering at the moment. Um, so obviously we've had quite a dry spell at, um, at the moment. So how do you judge when you need to water? Is it just off what's coming in the forecast? Uh, yeah, obviously when we, we, we'll, we'll look at the mo monitor the forecast, you know, all day, every day, you know, in advance. I and mean, we're, uh, we're racing uh, on the straight, after racing on the round course yesterday, we're racing on the straight course on Saturday. Mm -hmm. You know, with these conditions that we've got at the moment, sort of the temperatures have been uh, up to 28 degrees for the last four or five days. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's due to be warm for the ne next couple of days. So. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. it evaporates quite quickly. Then, yeah, it does. Sort of so I mean, it's getting, it's getting, you know, I mean, it's getting 12 millimeters of water today. today. We're out as good to firm, firm in places, mm -hmm. and that 12 millimeters water will, will only maintain that. Mm -hmm. It won't ease it anymore. No. And as we we saw yesterday, there was racing here on the round course, and we've had a walk around the round course just now, um, and it was quite chewed up on a few places around the around the top of the hill, coming down into the straight. But you said you deliberately water that. That's what you like to see there, is it? Yeah, I think you know it's very important um, on this course in particular with a, with a, quite a steep descent down the hill uh, on the turn mm -hmm. uh, that the horses can um, get a grip mm, and the jockeys in. Yeah, get their get foot in. in yeah. yeah, and the jockeys will uh, consequently feel confident riding down it. It's, mm. it's, it's vitally important. So, so they do come at quite a pace down there, don't they? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, um, you know, we'll make sure. That uh, you know, especially in conditions like this where it's drying out rapidly, mm. you know, you don't want it getting firm down the hill. Obviously, from the point of view, from a horse welfare point of view, it's, it's not not good for a horse to be to be hitting, you know, firm ground on on whilst that coming down the hill. You know, it's not, yeah. not good for him, him or her. Um, and as I say, you know, for the jockeys to feel confident, it gives them more confidence to, to ride. To yeah. it's always a, a you know, purposeful. Um, aim of mine to, to get plenty of moisture in the hill. Mm -hmm. And what trips do we run over around the round course? I saw there was um, a one mile three and a half, was it yesterday? Yeah, the, the mile three and a half um, is there. Is it one mile four all the way around the round? Yeah, just, just over a mile four all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got so we've got a two mile start, a mile six start, so the two mile um, you know, is uh, just at the oh, junction, the, just beyond the junction. Where the tractor yeah. is now, is it? Yeah, and mile yeah. six, obviously, um, down down here, and then the mile and a half or the mile three and a half there. And then we've got a mile two and a mile one. Mm. So this starts on a bend, does it? It's quite rare, isn't well, the, it? To have a start yeah, on a bend it, like it, but the way we put it, the, the stools are, are always put on the outside. Um, so and then, so the left of the, st the side of the stalls is aimed up with the with the rail. So actually, they you know they, they don't go straight. Yes, they go turning, but they have a little bit of straight before they turn. Before they turn, yeah. So do you think that affects the draw bias? Then would jockeys always be liking to be a lower draw number, or I, I think generally the consensus is, is you want to be uh, drawn low, yeah. So they can get straight on that rail yeah. when they come out. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got uh, the mile. Do you run the mile around here? Or? No, mile one is the shortest because you know if we went to a mile, we would right they would literally be. Just turning immediately, so the proximity to the bend um, means that we uh, we so can it's very like Wolverhampton, where they have the mile one as yeah. well, don't they? Because they're not on the bend. Okay, so that's a round course, and obviously you ran the Derby trial on there, don't you? On the round course, yeah, um, we do. Yeah, very like Epsom, do you think? Or I, mean, I think I think it's certainly the most uh, like 
in the country that you're most likely to hit, isn't it? So um, it's the nearest, uh, the nearest test they're going to get. You know, interestingly, obviously, um, Sir Michael Stout decided to come here, although the horse didn't run, um, but he tried to run a telescope, I think it's running today at Leicester, it is, yeah, but yeah. Uh, you know, he wanted to give him, give him that test, so, um, you know, and people have, but people have also come galloped uh, on the all-weather mm. uh, here, obviously left-handed uh, down, uh, down the hill, so Percy came and galloped here before, uh, before his win in the, in the derby, so, uh, yeah. Obviously. It's good preparation then, yeah. you feel, yeah, it does yeah. prepare a horse for Epsom. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And this year you were just a bit unlucky with the weather, I think. We had a load of rain that day, didn't we? How yeah, we, we did. I mean, there was the night before there was possible shower forecast, nothing nothing heavy, and then six, six mil came down, and then, uh, yeah, between the... Uh, between the Oaks trial and the Derby trial, in that sort of 40 minute period, 10 millimetres came down, which, <laughs> which you can't allow for. No, no, you can't. So, talking of horses and trainers, um, I have noticed obviously that when the turf season really kicks off in earnest, you do tend to see a lot of the top trainers send horses here in the maidens. You know, we, yesterday's maiden we had uh, two or three Godolphin horses, didn't we? So, was, yeah. yeah, we did. Do you, we see did the, do you see the sort of the profile of trainers change? or? I think, we, I think um, you know, for. Um, course like us um, you know, we have our feature races but uh, you know our opportunities to uh, to see the bigger uh, trainers represented are in the maidens and as mm -hmm. you say the mile one maiden uh, yesterday was uh, uh, had some good trainers uh, Roger Varian won it didn't he that's so, right yeah um, I mean that that's our opportunities to, to get to to get all the, the big trainers and yeah Godolphin um, are often here so mm -hmm. it's good yeah and, and what trainers do you think do well over the turf season then here have you uh, uh, I think you know you probably uh, you you probably similar to the, your weather. You sort of think about straight away who comes to mind. Richard Haddon, uh, Mick Channon, you yeah, know yeah. people like that come to mind. They do well, don't uh, they? Yeah. Know. But you know um, certainly people like Sir Henry Cecil in the past, uh, you know, has sent horses, has sent horses to us, and, and Michael Stout. So mm. um, I don't know without having a looking at it, uh, uh, you know. Stats, um, yeah, uh, and hence all the top jockeys are always here as well, aren't they? I mean, yesterday you had all of them here with Richard Hughes, Tom Queeley, uh, we had uh, Paul Hannigan was here, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, that's right. You, you know, you got like Paul Hannigan, you know, obviously riding uh, for uh, hand um, you know, they, they got a big string of horses, so uh, you know. And Ryan Moore, he was. I think he rode the. Did he ride the Varian horse yesterday? Was no, it was uh, Dane O'Neill. I think Dane O'Neill. Yeah, but Ryan right. had a winner, didn't he, for um, Sir Michael? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Derby winner, and then here. So that's right. That's, <laughs> that's right. very good. Uh, anything else that people should know then about the turf racing at Linkfield? You know, anyone watching the video? Any advice you can give them if they're coming for a day out here? I think. I mean, on the straight course in particular. Uh, I think uh, you know probably key thing about the straight course at Lingfield uh, is, is to be drawn if you're drawn on this rail uh, they do is, tend is, to come down yeah, this rail they all they? tend to race down the rail so to be drawn on the rail is, is a probably is, is an advantage Big advantage yeah. Yeah. yeah I think on the round course um, I wouldn't necessarily be aware of any particular advantage but uh, uh, you know it's a lovely course to it's, uh, it's not a great course to Clark because uh, the hill is you know you're always worrying about the hill and getting them down the hill yeah, uh, yeah. but actually i'm sure from a spectator's point of view you know you've got a nice long run in yeah. um, and no, it's a good view see them you, come down yeah you know yeah. The, you watched the horse yesterday that kieran fallon rode um uh, for dennis coakley wasn't it you know and uh, you know it's great how just watching the long run in and, you know, how he timed the ride yeah, all the way through yeah, yeah. so nice. i think it's a good spectator's course certainly is, both, yeah. both straight and and around but as i say um, on the straight course, you want to be drawn on the rail. On that rail, if we can. On yeah. the stand side rail. And is it definitely a horses for courses? Do you see horses come back here, you know, fairly regularly, and they get sort of a, a trainer will feel this horse does really well at Lingfield? Or? Yeah, I, th I think there's a few. I think more so perhaps on the on the poly track than mm. than, than on the grass. But uh, I think there has been a few, um, certainly in the past. Of we might well like the straight course. I mean, mm. I mean, there was a horse, and the round course to an extent. There was a horse yesterday who was. Uh, beaten out of it, actually came second in the end. We won the last week, and, yeah. and then there was a horse earlier in the year, Mr. Lando of Tony Carroll's, mm. for example, that won that won um, a couple on the bounce on the round course. So, yeah, so yeah. Um, maybe it does does suit some, yeah. Maybe yeah. Not others. And I think the you know the Epsom thing, the Epsom connection. You do see horses come from there to here, don't you? Quite a lot, and vice versa. Yeah. I mean, yeah. As you talked about the, the similarities, you know, you've got to be able to handle 
handle that bend. Um, they are very say, balanced, haven't they? Yeah, very balanced you know, horses. You will need to, you know, I'm sure trainers will be very selective of the horses they send here because because it is a sharp descent yeah, on the yeah. turn. Um, so you, you know you do want a horse that's going to be able to manage that. Definitely. Uh, and the other thing I was going to ask you about was we talked about the all weather and the turf. Now you tend to rotate, don't you, within a meeting? So you'll have say four four races on the turf, and then you'll go on to the all weather for the final three. Um, yeah. Is that there's a particular reason you do that? Yeah, there is, um, Richard. When I mean, we're lucky because we have the the poly track, and that enables us to uh, have um, more fixtures than than than, other, than perhaps other tracks. Um, mm -hmm. um, but you know we have got quite a narrow. Uh, turf course, course and, yeah. you know, for example, we were racing yesterday and we were racing Saturday. Um, you know, we have a lot of fixtures in a, in a short period of time, and and in order to maintain the track, the, the quality the grass, of the turf, exactly. Yeah. You know, you can't have all those races on on just the turf. So, no. we tend to put uh, the the uh, you know we either race on the round, round course, have the longer races on there, and then the shorter races on the on the poly track, or and then and then vice versa and it just yeah. helps us to, to sort of maintain so on saturday you'll be doing the sprint course the, the sprint course will be used for yeah. all the sprint races and then you'll go for longer races yeah. around the around that's the right. track yeah. yeah okay that's brilliant thanks for your time today neil appreciate it no problem richard pleasure